How's it going everyone? College Lefty. I'm going to be quickly going over how to complete the fifth inning conquest uh, as fast as possible. There are a few ways to do this. The first thing that's most important is the fifth inning voucher for 75 program stars. The next thing is you can kind of stack these missions in advance. I didn't play the game yesterday, so I had some of these missions saved up and I'm going to explain to you what I mean by that. So it says here, exchange AL East live series. So I did that and then it gave me an instant mission once again because I had these stacked up and I waited. Uh, it's important to do these daily missions to get these few program stars as well. So that saves you uh, games against the computer after you complete everything that you can. Because once you complete everything in this program, you're gonna be sitting at around 240, 250 program stars. You will have to get the remaining 50 program stars if you are trying to complete this rather quickly. The best way to kind of get some of these daily missions done that require multiplayer games online is through this new event. The Hall of Fame event is out. This is the team that I'm rocking with in it. And another good way to get those program stars and those daily missions completed is in Battle Royale. I know uh, I had one mission that was to get uh, gold player strikeouts, and I'm not going to be able to get that in this one because I'm, I don't have any golds on my team, but that might be something that I might be able to get in Battle Royale. Just an example there. But uh, you do have to win 10 games as well to get those extra 30 program stars for winning 10 uh, ranked seasons games, battle royale games, or events games. So that's also important. You have to get these wins anyway. So I figured I would start this video off with some event game highlights. I wasn't uh, streaming today or anything. I wanted to try and grind this program out. It takes me quite some time to grind it out and make these videos. So uh, the opponent was able to tie it up in this game. Down to his last outs, down to his last inning, he does tie it up in the top of the third. So we are going to have to try and walk this one off in the bottom of the third inning. But even if I do lose these event games and I don't quite accumulate the 10 right away, then I'll still be unlocking program stars even for the losses just based on how many XP points you earn throughout the game depends on how many program stars you unlock. So that's kind of how that goes. Sometimes in ranked seasons you can gain four to five program stars from one ranked seasons game. In events you might get one or two. Uh, it depends on the innings, depends on the amount of XP that you do get. So I just wanted to clarify that a little bit. I was able to walk that last game off with George Brett. He's definitely my best hitter. That's why he's in the three spot along with uh, Tony Gwynn as also my better hitter as well. And he's in the leadoff spot. Both with a very similar swing. I say that all the time. But really my best hitters are at the top of my lineup. I mean, Tony Gwynn, Roberto Alomar, uh, George Brett, Frank Thomas. I've, all, I've been struggling a little bit with Duke Snyder. He has hit well for me, but I thought that he would hit a lot better for me. But I think I am going to be taking Duke Snyder out of the lineup anyway once I get the Lou Gehrig card because I'll have too many lefties if I leave all of those lefties in in Tony Gwynn, Duke Snyder, George Brett, and then a couple of the switch hitters that I have. It'll just be too many uh, lefties in there. I'll have Frank Thomas on the bench, so I'll probably go with Ricky Henderson in left field or uh, possibly that Andrew McCutcheon. I don't really know. I have my options open, though, with the amount of outfielders and all this new content that they've released in, in the game. I also might try out some of the new headliner pack cards that are just released. And maybe that Willie Stargell is pretty intriguing. I don't think I'll get the Benito Santiago. But anyway, a lot of content, a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm trying to get this stuff out as quickly as possible once again. But in this one, I was able to also hit a no-doubter with Frank Thomas. Frank Thomas had been killing me up until this point. Hit two home runs in both of the games I played against me. And now I was able to hit a two-run shot. This opponent was also a Twitch live streamer. I uh, went into his chat while he was streaming. I don't really think he had a mic. I don't know. Um, but I did say good game to him. And uh, this was a really good game. I mean, no lead is safe in this one. This ball got down with Cal Ripken Jr., and uh, I don't really know what happened. I thought that I was going to be able to score, but he got the ball in a lot quicker than I thought. And I got kind of hung out to dry there with Duke Snyder. He is thrown out at the plate. But this opponent definitely has a chance to come back. I mean, he still has two chances. I'm trying to get those uh, that other mission completed in scoring five runs. So if I'm not able to do so in this game, then I might be able to do it in the next game. And that's just another good reason why to, to play some of these games, to get those daily missions and uh, stack those up. If possible, I know that since the program's already out, you might not be able to stack them up now. But in a future program, if you're looking to get that completed as quickly as possible, then maybe you would stack up the missions like I did in this one. Just a good tip and good piece of advice to do so. I did this in the previous program, and it was a little bit easier to get the 300 stars in the previous program because of the Griffey missions. They allowed us extra 30 program stars for that. So that won't be included in this one, so I'll have to play a lot more games versus the computer or uh, just grinding out random random games in this in any mode really gives you program stars, earning XP. 
So the best way to do that is just play games on rookie, bunt, get yourself out, stuff like that. Play against Road to the Show or whatever. Whatever you want to kind of grind out. Maybe March to October, I've heard, is another good game mode to try and jump into. I haven't really got into that too much, but... I mean, I was able to get the program stars in the last one, and it might take me a few extra hours with this, with having, uh, without having the Griffey missions, but I'm still looking to get that Lou Gehrig. I saw somebody already has him up on the market for 1 million stubs, so that's kind of crazy. They were able to complete it very quickly, and uh, I'm sure they did a lot of these things as well. Uh, it also takes me time to complete making these videos, so I'm not able to uh, continue grinding while I'm making these videos, if that makes sense. So I'll be a little bit behind, but it's definitely worth it for you guys to have some of these tips. And uh, in this game was pretty crazy. I went down a run, was able to hit back-to-back -back home runs to tie the game, or to tie the game up, and then take the lead there with the next batter and Roberto Alomar. But once again, this opponent is tying the game up. I was uh, blowing the blowing a lot of one-run leads in this one, giving up some home runs in uh, the last inning, the last chance for the opponent to score. Did give up some runs that way, and I will have some screenshots of some other things after this gameplay. So. I, I will have some conquest stuff. I will have some uh, some packs as well. They give you quite a few packs for completing these programs. A lot of XP, a lot of stubs, and I'm looking to get closer to Diamond level 35, which will allow me to unlock either Jason Giambi, Matt Kemp, or that Alan Trammell 94 Diamond card. So here, quickly, we're just going to go over the conquest map. I did upload a previous conquest video on how to complete the turn-based missions and how to complete this map very quickly and I was able to kind of reinforce and uh, move out with the I guess the territories and kind of take over as many hexagons as possible and now that I've taken over all the strongholds then I will be able to just go ahead and simulate the rest of the games as you can see here I was able to do so it took me quite a few turns I mean once I got those turn-based missions done it didn't really matter I was just able to complete the conquest like this and uh, played most of those games on veteran or rookie so let's go ahead and open up some of these packs I got uh, quite a few packs I mean 16 regular packs some of them are standard some of them are the show packs where you have a, a few less items in there but uh, definitely a lot of packs from the conquest there's a nice diamond so hopefully this is a solid player let's go ahead and uh, jump into this one 60 home runs 356 RBIs I'm not sure who this is I don't really know uh, I can't really tell the stadium quite yet. The Angel Stadium with a 12.2 war. That is Andrelton Simmons, hands down. I know it for a fact that that's Andrelton Simmons. They really only have one other diamond. And uh, I know it's not that Garrett Anderson legend card that you get from the 200 program stars, which I'll also be trying to get in this video as well. But uh, Andrelton Simmons there, solid diamond pull for 5K stubs. I mean, a lot of the diamonds on the market are going for a lot less than what they were a while ago but nonetheless it's still a diamond there's another diamond pole so i wonder what that is it looked like it's a stadium yep old miami stadium and then a gold stance sock so probably the best gold equipment item right there in the stance socks that's 500 stubs i'm not going to complain i uh, got all these packs for free and i don't really open packs by buying stubs or purchasing packs with stubs so i think i uh, i'll take what i can get out of these there's another diamond so i'll take that one for sure Two diamonds in this pack opening out of these three packs. 1,789 strikeouts. Is this Max Scherzer? 2.89 ERA. Max Scherzer, possibly. It is Fenway Park. I think this is Chris Sale. I think he's actually pictured on there on the scoreboard as well. But uh, I think that's I think that's Chris Sale. I mean, it's got to be, right? Yep, Chris Sale. 41, number 41 right there. 89 overall. He just recently got another downgrade, I believe. He was a 90. He was a 90, then he got a downgrade, then he went back up, and then I think he got another downgrade. So he's kind of been up and down this season. But anyway, a uh, solid 35,000 stubs, probably a little bit more with a uh, buy order. But uh, I'll take that for sure. I mean, I'm probably going to keep him because I'm trying to get this program completed and uh, sell the Lou Gehrig, try and build up my collections. I don't necessarily know yet. Uh, that I will be looking at 300-something thousand subs if I sell him, though. And then uh, depending on if I'm able to get that Garrett Anderson and sell him, then I might be looking at some more some more stubs. So depending on what I can get for those guys and the pricing along those lines, there's the first uh, diamond in the program pack. I guess it's the 100 star program choice pack there, as you see that uh, that diamond pack in the inventory. But that is going to be the uh, 86 overall Matt Williams. I believe I'm going to go ahead and select him. But uh, that's probably the best card, or the most usable card out of that pack. But with these remaining packs, I wasn't expecting to get anything after pulling two two diamonds right there. So 
I'll take it though. Two solid diamonds, 40k stubs or, or so, and uh, at, for just playing conquest, that is definitely worth it to me. And, and I'll just go ahead and select this uh, chest protector. That's probably the best item there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and select this Matt Williams because I was able to get to 100 program stars, and uh, I will be playing some of these moments. I went ahead and did that. Now I'm gonna be trying to uh, to take a look at what Chris Sale's price is. So there's a solid 37k. I was able to uh, complete some of these missions. I noticed that there's a Bob Gibson mission where you have to strike out 17 batters. This might be one of the toughest ones to complete. It is a pitcher's lock mission, though, so you will just be Bob Gibson. And uh, I was able to do it. It did take me two tries to do so, but I completed it in the eighth inning. I, seven and two-thirds innings pitched and 17 Ks, so it finished off the game right then and there, so I didn't have to play the full nine-inning game. That was actually quite nice, but... Uh, I figured that this moment would be the toughest one for you guys. So I was able to get to 200 program stars and I unlocked this Garrett Anderson as you guys could see but I went ahead and put him on the market because I know his price is going to drop down. I sold him for 37,800 stubs. That's a pretty good price for a card that's probably going to be going for right around 10k, right around 15k at the end of the program towards the end of it once everybody is able to unlock it. But there is a Lou Gehrig posted for 1 million. Like I was talking about, I'm only at 208 program stars. I still have one more of these program missions to complete. And then I also have the 10 uh, rank seasons games, event games, or battle royale games to finish. I'll have 30 program stars after that, right around 250. And then I'm just going to be playing the CPU mindlessly. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully that helps you out in pursuing the fifth inning program. I'm College Lefty, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.